put up the umbra flowers here so I'm going to arrange them on my desk first so I know what they'll look like on the wall and then I'm just gonna start sticking them on <laughs> this is how the wallflowers turned out so I'll kind of step back so you can see it still a big mess but um, I do like it I uh, as you can see it doesn't cover the entire wall I just kind of wanted it to um, frame the desk good morning and happy Monday I am getting ready for work right now. I just finished getting my outfit together. I'm wearing a very loud skirt today, at least in my opinion. Not quite sure if it matches my top 100%. They're a little bit off. I'll show you what I mean when I do my outfit, but I am getting ready. I'm gonna use my new Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer, which if you watched my last vlog, which is currently taking forever to upload. So I've been uploading this for literally hours and it still says it's gonna take two, almost three hours longer. My last vlog is a bit long because it encompasses my extra long, or I guess the latter half of my extra long weekend and um, some things I did during the week. Yesterday, which was Sunday, I really honestly didn't do a lot of stuff. I put this on my wall finally. I also cleaned up a little bit and oh, you guys may have noticed, but no longer curtains here. Instead, they're blinds that match the ones that are in my beauty room closet because Lowe's is actually having um, a sale on these right now. There was a sale the last weekend when we bought them. It was tax-free, but this is actually 15% off curtains. So we picked a couple more up, and now I am going to get ready. what I'm going to be wearing today. I'm just gonna let my hair air dry in the car. Um, but this is a skirt, so you may have seen it before because um, I got it last year from H&M. And uh, this is also from H&M, but uh, maybe if I get closer, you can see that the white on the skirt is a little bit um, more stark than the cream in the sweater, but I like it. So this is what I'm wearing today. And these heels are from uh, Nine West. I just got them. You probably saw them in my last, last haul. I am in the car now on my way to work. I'm very troubled. Sorry, it's very bright, so my camera's gonna go a little bit crazy. But I can't find my Sephora Rouge Balm lipstick. The one that I just got. My favorite thing of the moment right now. I can't find it. I don't know where it is. I looked in all of my purses even purses that I hadn't used in a really long time, but I still looked just because I was paranoid. I looked in every blazer I wore for the last two weeks, every pair of pants, um, every sweater, and I can't find it. So hopefully it is at work um, because I realized it was missing on the Friday when I got home, so hopefully it was at work. Otherwise, I could have lost it somewhere. I don't know where. I could have lost it though. <sighs> if that is the case, I'm gonna have to go to Sephora and pick up a new one because I really, really like that lipstick. Like it enough to go repurchase it immediately. Okay, I give up. I just spent probably 20 minutes searching high and low for this lipstick and I couldn't find it. So I'm just gonna go to bed now and pick up a new one tomorrow. I'm gonna show you my outfit before I leave. Um, I'm not wearing shoes yet. These are what I'm gonna wear, but uh, this is from uh, Forever 21 and this is a navy pencil skirt from H&M. I just got this this season, so if you do like it, um, you can pick it up still.
Hi, I'm in the car now on my way home and I'm gonna stop by the bay because I, oh, that's the boat calling. Let's just ignore it for a second. I am going to stop by the bay to see if I missed out on the Estee Lauder collection online. I was trying to check out on EstéLauder.com and by the time I realized there was a Canadian site, it had sold out. So I'm pretty peeved about that. I have no idea. I don't have any information about this collection. I don't know if it's coming to stores. I don't know if it's going to Sephora. I don't know. I don't know anything. I just realized that I'm like really zoomed in here. Pause. <laughs> That's a little bit better. So all I knew was that it was gonna be available on SILauder.com and Selfridges and also, what else is, oh, VictoriaBeckham.com. I tried to get it on Selfridges, but it was already sold out there and Bergdorf doesn't ship to Canada, at least the way I was trying to do it. I know it does, but it just wouldn't let me. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the bay and see if I can get it. And I'm also going to pick up a lipstick from Sephora, the one that I lost. I can't find it anywhere. Okay, so that was a bit of a fail. No modern mercury, no blushing beige, and I'm pretty sure I left stupider than when I came in because one of the associates I was talking to was talking I don't know what she was even saying but she kept not answering my question and she kept going around and around in a circle and I'm just tired now so I'm gonna go home and, and eat some dinner because I'm starting to get hangry also my hair is a mess but this is the second day that I'm wearing eyeliner I actually quite like that Kat Von D one I'm using the one that I got at the Sephora event um, but I'll show you my outfit before I head to Starbucks I'm gonna get myself a beverage this is what I'm wearing. I am not wearing shoes yet, so I'll show you what the whole outfit looks when I go downstairs. Um, but this is from Lord & Taylor, RW & Co. I just like this combo, plus it's a bit cool today and I'm just fully embracing fall weather. It is extremely dark in this hallway, but this is my whole outfit. So these are the boots that I got from Zara last year. And uh, yeah, I am gonna head to Starbucks now. It is quite cool today and I am really digging it. I love autumn. I'm sure you guys never hear that ever, but it is my favorite season. I just love sweaters and I love layers, but I don't like winter because it's snow and you know, your cute outfits are covered by a big ass parka. I got my coffee. I just got a caramel macchiato. I do not like pumpkin spice lattes. I'm just gonna say it, I don't. I don't really like anything pumpkin. I don't like pumpkin pie. I don't like pumpkin soup. I don't like pumpkin spice lattes. It's just not my favorite. So whenever the big rollout for PSLs comes into town and, and everyone is just so hyped on that bandwagon, I I don't, I'm not on it, I'm not on it. Okay you guys, you won't believe what I found in my office my Rouge Bomb lipstick. Did I mention it yesterday? But I went to go pick it up yesterday at Sephora and they were sold out. So that was a big bummer. Um, but I actually just found it in my office. You won't even believe where. I just think that is so hilarious that um, it has been there this whole time and I didn't even notice until now. On the bright side, I do not have to buy a new lipstick and basically this whole RDL has reaffirmed how much I really, really like this product. Good morning, I am driving the Bose car today. I just went to Starbucks, I'm listening to some podcasts and I'm heading to work. Hi, I'm home now and I'm gonna show you guys what I wore today because I don't think I showed you guys this morning. But first, um, when I went to see my dad, he gave me this box of stuff and he said, open it when you get home. So I'm opening it now and they are vintage um, teacups with the, the plate. I used to collect these when I was younger and I guess I just had them at my parents' house. And my dad like put them in a box for me to bring home. I don't know where I'm gonna put them, but I'll show you guys what they look like. And if you're a vintage teacup collector, you might find this interesting. So I've already um, took out a couple. So these are what they look like. They're quite old. This one was actually made in Japan. This one was made in England. These are what they look like. So there are four and they're all matching. These are so old. 
my nana who is my dad's mom uh, had a whole bunch of these teacups and uh, when she passed away years and years and years ago um, when we were cleaning out uh, her home I found a whole bunch and a lot of them we ended up uh, selling or you know taking to auction because uh, my nana had a lot of really old antique furniture and it actually was I can't believe how much people will pay for antiques it's kind of crazy but a lot of the cups um, we had sold to auction but I kept a few and these were some of them that I kept I mean these are what my younger self picked out I was probably I think 12 or 13 so this was my style when I was 12 or 13 I still really like them I mean look at that gold gold detailing it's beautiful this is what I wore today and as you can see this is straight up my color family preference I'm in neutrals uh, so this is a sweater from Zara I got it during the sale I wish I got more of them because it has proved to be quite the sweater I wear it all the time. I'm wearing just an Oxford shirt from probably Lord & Taylor, uh, khakis from Joe Fresh, and then I'm just wearing nude heels. So I'll step back so you guys can kind of see my outfit a little bit better. I might be zoomed in on my camera, but this is what I wore today. Good morning, it is Friday, and I'm gonna show you my quick outfit before I head to work. It's casual Friday, so I'm wearing khakis today. We don't have shoes on yet, so I'll just show you the upper half. So this is from Loft, and these are um, khakis from The Gap. I still have to do something with my hair. I'm gonna put it up because this is second day hair, and it does not look good like this. restaurant and I had a surf and turf so I had a prime rib and I didn't have lobster I had um, shrimp and it was so good and there was so much food and I am so full and now the boat is kind enough to take me to Sephora because I want to see if they have a product that I am looking for good morning it is Saturday right now and I have to take my car to the dealership because um, it needs a checkup my check engine light has gone on so I gotta do that. Before I go to the dealership, I am gonna stop by Starbucks. I have gone to Starbucks a lot this week. So I just got my drink. I put my hair up because my I took a shower last night and um, I kind of went to sleep with damp hair and it looks horrendous. So I got my drink. I have been just getting a um, caramel macchiato, sometimes a caramel latte. Starting my morning off with that, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I'm gonna see how long it'll take uh, for them to sort this out. If it takes a while, then I'll probably have them shuttle me home. If not, I'll wait. So I was probably at the dealership for an hour and a half. So quite a bit of time, but they did fix the car, so there wasn't anything crazy wrong with the car. Basically, the sensor, temperature sensor in the exhaust was faulty, so they replaced it. My car's still under factory warranty bumper to bumper, so it didn't cost me anything, which is great. Yeah, I'm gonna head home now. The Beau and his dad are actually test driving some cars right now at the, at the same dealership. The Beau's parents want to get a second vehicle, so that's what they are doing, but I'm gonna head home because I got some stuff to do. I'm gonna stop by Walmart because I have to pick up some CLR. My uh, bathroom sink is draining super slowly, so there's something probably in there. Where does one even find CLR at Walmart? Is it by the grocery section? Found it. Now, question is, is it better to get this one? 
Okay, let's check out the ingredients and see what's different. Ended up getting this one. I feel like this is really what I need. Hair clog eliminator. <laughs> of course, I can't leave without checking out cosmetics. Hey, Walmart has e.l.f. cosmetics now. Not a really big selection here though. Actually, I found the full display. They finally have this eyeshadow primer in stock. I've been dying to try this. I guess this is one of the ways that they try to prevent theft at Walmart. That's pretty cool. Also need a new brow stylist. This is seriously my favorite brow product right now. I just left Walmart and I'll show you guys what I got. Real time haul here. I did not opt for a bag because one, I actually have reusable um, bags in my car, but I forgot to bring in, them in. And also you have to pay for bags now at Walmart. And I didn't really want to spend another five cents just for bags. So I have all of my stuff haphazardly here. I don't know how I spent $40 at Walmart. I was in there for literally five minutes. So here we are. This is the only reason I went in there for. It's to pick up the Pro. Well, originally I was going to get the CLR, but I saw this and I figured this is probably the issue. Um, so I got the Liquid Plumber Hair Clog Eliminator. Sounds fun. So I'm going to try it out. I also got a shampoo from Head & Shoulders. This is just the dry scalp care, the one with almond oil. I really like that. I got some makeup bits. I guess the makeup bits are really what um, what brought up the price tag of my purchases. <laughs> so I got four bits of makeup or beauty related things. One is this buffing block because I needed a new one because mine is really gross. Um, I got a new Essie nail polish. This is, what shade is this? Set in Stones. I really like this. It's a silver glitter and um, I actually, in my nail polish declutter, I had to get rid of mine because it went all weird and clumpy. So I just picked it up again. I also got the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. I'm really excited for this. And then of course the L'Oreal brow stylus. I love this. Now I am going to go home. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to make one more stop before I go home. I wanna to go to Shoppers Drug Mart because I wanna pick up another Essence Make Me Brow. So I have to go to a different Shoppers Drug Mart because the one that's closest to me is never in stock in the shade that I need, which is the darker of the two. So I'm gonna try a different one and hopefully they have it. It's only $3.99. Okay, I'm at Shoppers Drug Mart now. Fingers crossed they have what I'm looking for. Let's see. Success. I feel like I should buy two of them just because this is one of the first shoppers I've found it in. I'm waiting for the beau to get home. He's still out with his dad. He didn't really give an ETA on what, when he'll be here, but they got at the dealership. I was still there, obviously, and um, I think they got there around 9, if not a little bit before 9, and it is now almost 11. So they've been there for a really long time, so I imagine they're probably going through maybe the process of buying a car but he hasn't messaged me yet, so I'm just gonna wait. And while I wait, I'm gonna film some videos. One of them is an empties video. I'm gonna show you the basket of empties that I have in my room right now. Here are all of my empties. So this is actually not an empty, this is recycling. So let me just take that. But I have a whole bunch in here that I have to talk about, so. Yeah, I just finished filming my empties video and I am exhausted and I realized I haven't eaten anything yet. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch, import the footage. I tried to do it as quickly as I can, but I feel like it's still gonna be a 20 minute video. And I don't know how you guys feel about long videos. I mean, long vlogs, I can understand. They're kind of fun to watch. I personally enjoy watching long vlogs, but for beauty videos, I don't know. I always try to keep my content under 10 minutes, Preferably, I, I want to keep it within like five minutes, but that never happens. Anyway, let me know what you think. Also, I changed my lipstick up. This is from Marc Jacobs. I don't remember what the color is called. I haven't worn it since last kind of fall, maybe? Maybe the beginning of the year. It's been a while since I busted this out. Uh, it's Boy Gorgeous. I got this, yeah, last year, and I, I really like the color. I still really like the color. But now I'm going to make myself something to eat. I got a message from the Bo saying that his parents bought a car, so that's exciting. And I have to clean up like this mess. So I'm gonna head over to the recycling bin now. Sorry, I'm trying to find the best lighting here. Oh, 
Oh, I think we have a winner. So I'm just in the garage recycling some of the empties that I have and it's quite astonishing how a lot of the beauty product packaging is not recyclable. It's something that I never really considered before but over the last, I don't know, couple of years, whenever I buy a beauty product, I try to remember to see if the packaging is you know biodegradable or recyclable i mean typically the outside packaging if it comes in a box that obviously that's um recyclable but in terms of the actual product packaging um, a lot of the products are not recyclable which is troublesome because that means they're just gonna end up in a landfill somewhere so i've been trying to be a little bit more conscientious about that uh, I don't always succeed because sometimes I really really like a product and I'm not quite you know an extreme environmentalist where I will boycott a brand because their packaging is non-recyclable it's just something I've been trying to keep top of mind again with me sometimes the environmental impact doesn't really click until I go to try to recycle this big basket of empties so I've just been trying to keep it top of mind and I just wanted to mention it to you guys because yeah a lot of products out there are not recyclable which means you have to throw them in the trash and it'll end up in a landfill it's been a few hours since I last picked up the camera and this is where I'm gonna end this week's vlog hopefully you enjoyed watching this past week I tried to incorporate more work outfits because in one of my past videos someone asked me to do a video solely on the kind of outfits I wear for work and I'm so sorry that I haven't done one yet it's just because I haven't had the time so I've been incorporating more work outfits in my vlogs so you could at least get a feel for my work style anyway I will see you guys in my next video bye